hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be learning how to sew a corset dress in our last class we drafted the pattern so in this class we are going to be learning how to put all the pattern pieces together and come up with a beautiful corset dress so the materials that will be needed for this tutorial are your boning you'll be, we'll be using the double boning channel so we'll be needing two bonings the regilin boning which is the sewable boning and the plastic boning then we'll be needing bra cups we'll be needing bra cups for the for the corsets we'll be needing bra cups you can use one inch one inch lower than than your bust circumference like if your bust is 38 you can use a cup of bust a cup of 37 or 36 to be fine so this is the lace fabric i'm going to be using this is the lace fabric is about three yards it's three yards that i'm going to be using because the down part the skirt part is going to be an a-line dress the down part and this is the bridal satin i'm going to be using this is the bridal satin i'm going to be using then this is our pattern this is our pattern this is our pattern that we drafted in the last class I had to make another pattern because the marker pen I used in the in the last class was giving me was adding to my measurement so I had to redraft another one but it's the same thing the same thing that we drafted the only difference is I changed the boning channel the last one I just said if you want it to have two parts but this I made it to be three parts I, I divided our pattern into three that's the difference I divided our pattern into three the last one was into two but this one i wanted it to have three parts i wanted to have different i wanted it to have different boning channel so i see it let me put them together you see it okay this is number three make sure you label your pattern so that you it will align you see because i didn't even look at the numbers before it was not aligning i labeled it this one two three so putting it together you see what we have so you see in the last one i just shared it into two i just used the that line but you can see what I did in this one. I shared it into three so that I can have three parts. And this is the back. This is the back. You can see the back. This is the back. Let me just bring all the parts together so that you understand. Let me bring, bring in the yoke. You see it? This is the pattern that we drafted in our last class. So that we will understand better. Let me put everything together. You see, this is the last, this is the back, this is the back, this is the back, this is the modesty panel. You see it, you remember, this is what we drafted in our last class. This is the back, so let me bring in the front. This is the front. This is the front, this is the cup, you remembered? This is the center front, this is the cup. And this is the yoke. You see it that we drafted in our last class. You see it. This is the yoke. And that's all. So I'm going to want to transfer it to fabric now. So I want to transfer it to fabric. So I'm just going to go like so. This is the center front. So it's going to be on fold. You see it. I'm putting it on fold so i'm just going to pin it down i've placed the pattern and i've added my allowances i added half inch here i added half inch around the cup area where i will attach the cup half inch by the side half inch downwards that's what i did everywhere you see it at the back too but for the side the side front this is the side front i added two inches two inches sewing allowance you see it two inches sewing allowance then this is the side back for the side back too i added two inches allowance you see it's two inches allowance but every other part i added half inch every other part you are seeing here i added half inch allowance so for the remaining parts i want to use for my cup area i don't want to use brighter satin this brighter satin i don't want to use brighter satin i want to use the lace i'll show you how i use the lace now i'll use the lace to cut this and for my yoke i'm going to use my um I'm going to use my tool net. Sorry. I'm going to use my tool net. Tool net for it. Then for the back yoke. 
This is the back yoke. For the back yoke, what I want to use for the back yoke is the lace. So I'm going to show you how I use the lace to cut this. This I'm going to use two nets. Then for the cup, I'm going to use brider. No, I'm going to use the lace too for this. So I'm going to show you when I want to cut it. So I'm just going to cut this out now and I'll put it aside. So I've gone ahead to cut my pieces. I used the bridal satin for both the fashion fabric and the lining piece. So I also went ahead to cut hair stay. I'll press hair stay on all the pieces, both the lining piece and the fashion fabric. I'll press hair stay even on my cups, both the back. I'm going to press hair stay on it because hair stay gives our dress more structure so i'm going to press it still everywhere i also went ahead to cut my yoke i use the lace fabric and i also cut a tool so that i can use it to turn the neckline instead of using a bias i also cut two for the front i also cut two for the front yoke i cut two to turn it okay now i've pressed my i've pressed the hair stay on all the pieces you can see this is the front piece you can see them i'm bringing them out right now and i'm trying to place all the numbers according to how they are number one number two number three you see it this one is for the fashion fabric then i have the lining piece so i'll start joining now this is how i'm going to join it i'm going to use half inch you see this that's the center piece one two three so i'm going to join them with half inch you see i'm just going to go to my sewing machine and sew half inch I'm going to sew half inch here also here and also here i'm going to sew half inch all around i'm going to sew half inch i'm also going to do the same thing the same thing i did here i'll do it for my lining piece i'll do this exactly the same thing i'll do it then this is my cup this is the center front this is the center front why this is the side front so i'm going to join it i also pressed este on my cup too so this is for the fashion fabric you know i told you i was going to use lace fabric so this is the lace fabric and this is my lining piece you see i also press her stay on my lining piece so i'm going to join them together now now i'm going to join them so i'm going to do for the back to this the back this center back this one and this is two so i'm going to do i'm going to join them so just like i joined the front so you see this center back i'm going to do it like this so you see it is going to be like this i'm going to join this the center back this is where the modesty panel will look so i'm going to do the same thing for the lining piece this is the lining piece so i'm going to go and join it i'll join like so i'll join by half inch like so i'll join half inch this part too i'll join half inch like so finish i'm finished joining all my pieces this is my front piece you can see my cup area you can see it so this is the fashion fabric this is this for the lining you see it's this for the lining and this is my cup please see what i did i joined by half half inch you see it so i'm going to go to the pressing iron and i'll press it down i'll press down open i'll press open all my seams so i'm going to go to the pressing table so i did it for the fashion fabric then i did for my cup this is my cup you can see this is center front even without putting in my breast cup, you can see my cup is already standing. So this for the other breast. So this is, you see, this is my lining piece. You see, this is my lining piece. You see it. So I'm going to press it. I held it with half inch. You see, half inch. So I'm going to go to my ironing table. I'm going to press it. Press open. I'll press open all my seam. I did the same thing for the back too. This is the back. This is the back. You see it. This is the center back. This is my modesty panel. I've not turned my modesty panel. I'll go ahead and turn it. I'll turn my modesty panel. So this is the modesty panel that will be here. So I'm going to press open all my seam. 
I'll press open all my seam. I did the same thing. This is the main fabric and this is the lining piece. This is the lining piece. So I'll do the same thing. This is the lining piece. I'll do the same thing. I'll press open my seam. I'll press open everything. I'll go and sew my, my modesty panel too. Then I'll show you everything. So I've joined my pieces. You can see it. I've joined it and I pressed it. I've pressed open my seam. Even for the back. I've pressed open the seam for my back too. Both the fashion fabric and the lining piece. I did the same thing then i pressed i sewed my modesty panel and i ironed it too so it's going to be like this the modesty panel is going to be like this you see it it's going to be like this so you see it that's my back so moving to the front the next thing i want to do is to sew my cup this is my cup you can see i ironed it too i pressed it i sewed it and i pressed it see so that's my cup this is the other cup this is the other cup so you can see it so I'm going to sew it into this my cup area I'm going to sew it let me show you I've done the lining already I've done for the lining already see it I've done for the lining already I fixed my cup you see it looking so pretty see it I joined it but I'm going to show you a trick that i used in fixing my cup that it will come out perfect you see that one part will not be longer than the other part so i'll show you the secret now so after sewing it the next thing we want to do is to bring in our bra cup you know for the lining piece i didn't attach a bra cup to the lining piece but for the fashion fabric we have to fix in our bra cup so this is how you fix your bra cup this is how you fix your bra cup you pick it up then you start moving it you want this to fit in perfectly okay the first thing you do is to notch notch your bra cup notch the middle of your bra cup the first thing you do is to notch the middle get the midpoint the midpoint of your bra cup notch it notch it like so you see it i've notched it so the next thing you want to do is to make sure this part that you notch make sure it's sitting here this is under the boss make sure it's sitting here and you know we left half inch you know we left half inch on this our uh, pattern and if you look at your bra cup your bra cup is having quarter inch allowance already here you can see it's having quarter inch allowance here so what you want to do is to place it quarter inch away so that by the time you sew you are going to be sewing the half inch I hope you understand is to start pinning first of all let's secure this part first let's secure this under both parts first so after you have secured this under both parts then you start filling it up you start just watch what i'm doing See what I'm doing? Just, just start moving it and pinning, pinning it. Make sure you are filling it. Make sure you are pulling it in. Make sure the bra cup is going in. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? I hope you can see what I'm doing. Make sure you are pulling it in. As you are pulling, you'll be pinning it. If you see that you are not okay with what you are doing, you can remove the pin. And start pinning again so I'm just going to go and sew I'll sew it so you see I'm just going to sew it round then I'll fix it I'll fix it to the cup like what I explained earlier the trick the trick to fix your cup to this um your bodies is to notch 
notch all these parts notch it then make sure that this part this joining part matches this joining part on the bodies so you put them together like so then you start sewing you start sewing when you are sewing you stretch this one down this one that you notch down you stretch it so that this cup can fit into it i will not be able to show you on the sewing machine but just follow this trick this is a technique that works for me what you do you notch this part you notch it you see i notch it just place notches on it then put it then fix bring this part the joining here let it match with the joining here put them together like so then you sew as you are sewing you stretch this one down then fills in this your cup into it you see by the time you do it like so it will match so that is the, that is the technique for sewing your cup into your bodies so i hope that helps just try it you'll see that it will work for you if you have been having issues with your cup fitting into your bodies this is just the trick just notch when you notch bring the this part put it here they sew like so when you finish sewing this part when you finish sewing this part then you come again and so you might not be able to sew like this what i do is i turn it to the other side then i sew i sew like this you see these notches this my notches will help me so i'll stretch this one this one that has the notches on i'll stretch it then you'll see that it will fit in you see it that's why i'm just going to sew it so i'm going to sew it i've already done it for the lining parts look at the lining part I've already joined the lining part so that is what exactly what i did see look at my notches it was these notches that helped me to fill in my cup into my body so if you try it you'll see that it works perfectly so i'll just go and join it then i'll show you what it looks like okay guys you can see i've joined my cup you can see how my cup is sitting pretty this is how yours should look like too so you can see 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 it looking very beautiful this is the inside this is what it looks like in the inside so you can see so this is the fashion fabric and this is the lining piece so i'm going to go ahead now what i'm going to do now is to use my double boning channel so i'm going to go ahead and use my regilin boning first i'll start fixing my regilin boning I'll fix regilin boning. I think I have a video on how to do this double boning channel. I'll use the regilin boning first, then I will insert the plastic boning. I will insert it after sewing the regilin boning. Then I will insert the plastic boning inside. That's the double boning channel. The double boning technique. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll do it for only. I'll do it for only the fashion fabric. I'll do it for this fashion fabric then i'll come back to show you then i'll go ahead when i do that i'll go ahead and turn i'll turn okay i'll do for this too i'll fix in my regilin boning on the back piece too i'll fix it on the back piece then i'll turn with lining okay before i turn with lining i'm going to bring in my okay so before i turn with lining if i turn the back this is the back before i turn the back with lining i'm going to bring in my my yoke this is my yoke so this is what i cut for my yoke i cut the lace i want to use the lace fabric for my yoke but i also cut two nets as you can see i also cut two nets I'll use the two net to turn the neckline. This is my back. So this is my yoke. So I'm going to use this two net to turn it. Instead of using a bias to turn, I don't need to use a bias. I'll just place this two net on it. I'll place the two net, sew it, then turn it. The same thing with this one too. I'll sew it, then turn it. So after doing that, okay i'll show you before i will turn it i'll show you how i turn it i'll place it then turn it i also do the same thing for the this is the front yoke 
so what i'm going to do for the front yoke i cut two of it i cut two of the front yoke so i'm going to put them together and sew them on the neckline i'll sew it on the neckline like so i'll sew it on the neckline i'll sew the neckline then turn it so i'll do all that then i'll show you what's next to do so sorry guys i have to cut the video for now i hope you have enjoyed it so far i'll upload the remaining parts of this video is ready i'm just going to upload it immediately i upload this one because the video is getting too long i hope you find value in this one you have watched please hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed and hit the like button please give me a thumbs up if you know you enjoyed the video so far thank you so much for always stopping by and if you're a new subscriber thank you so much god bless you see you in my next video bye